Okay, so here, because uh, f of x has a Riemann sum, we know that s exists, so we can say s, we'll just call it s1 for f. That's the sum, we're doing a Riemann sum now, from 1 to n, f of xi times delta xi, uh, where, where delta xi equals xi minus xi minus 1. And, uh, oh, sorry. And xi star is just some element in the set xi minus 1 to xi. And also, um, a is equal to x0, which is less than x1, etc., which is less than xn, which is equal to b. Now, you know, we've got a, a great deal of flexibility, but I mean, but recall that we're told f of x is less than or equal to g of x. So that means then that um, f of x i star is less than or equal to g of x i star. So I think that would make it quite clear that this was less than or equal to uh, the sum from 1 to n g x i star times delta x i and that's the Riemann sum um, for S2, if you want to call it the second function, G. I should have written that and start that S1 is the Riemann sum for F. I'll, I'll write it over here. S1 is Riemann sum for F over AB. And then S2 is Riemann sum for G over AB as well. And I think that's really it. Now, someone might say, well, hang on. Uh, this here is just one particular Riemann sum. So is it true for, or one particular partition, is it true for all of them? And the answer is yes, because S1 has a Riemann sum. And so this is true regardless of our partition. Um, and it doesn't particularly matter as well uh, what the value of xi is, as long as it's between a and b, which it is, this inequality is still going to hold. So, I mean, it seems pretty clear that the integration uh, is true, that from a to b, f of x dx is less than or equal to a to b uh, g of x dx with two big requirements that, you know, both of these have to have a Riemann sum and f has to be less than g. So where both f and g have Riemann sums and uh, f is less than or equal to g where x is between a and B. So I, I don't know if I, I feel like I've said enough here. It just seems a little bit short. I don't think there's any gap here. Um, I think it, it's per, perhaps worth stating where uh, this is partition is completely arbitrary. So it means that the partition here is also completely arbitrary because it matches a earlier arbitrary partition. So whatever partition you want here, 
you can get it by using that partition for f and since both of them have riemann sums then you can partition them whatever way you want so like i said it seems pretty clear to me